Ein herzliches Hallo, sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, liebe Freunde von Radio VR. Freuen wir uns jetzt gemeinsam hier und jetzt auf einem Sänger, Songschreiber und Interpreten von absolut internationalem Starformat. 1980 und 1987 gewann er den Eurovision Song Contest mit den Hits War for Another Year und Hold Me Now. Und dann später 1992 gewann er dieses Mal als Autor des Siegertitels Why Me, gesungen von Linda Martin natürlich für Irland. Ein Erfolg, bis heute einmalig und zeugt von dem unglaublichen Hit von des sympathischen Künstlers von der grünen Insel. Herzlich willkommen, Johnny Logan. Hello and welcome. Vielen Dank. Thank you, Thank you very much. Very nice, very nice to, here, to meet you. I very nice to meet you songs. too. We have, uh, we have friends in common. We have friends, yeah. The Jordanaires and Charlie the McCoy. Jo yeah, we uh, the great musicians. Uh, we visit Nashville. Genau. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good place to make uh, um, handmade music. It's a good place for a lot of things. It's man. a good, it's a good place for a lot of things. The music is, they always said, the good of music is back in town. And yeah. that's what I, what I feeling when I hit your great album. Thank you. The handmade like music is full of impression and magic and the soul of Ireland. It was just, uh, it was just, um, I grew up with this music. My, uh, as a small boy, I learned this music at my father's knee. You know, this is, um, my father was a very famous Irish singer, Irish tenor, and um, from the time I was a little boy I was playing this, but I never thought I would make a CD of it. You know, this, this was my father's music, and it was actually a Danish guy that talked me into doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was released in Scandinavia about five years ago and went to number one in mm -hmm. Norway for six weeks. Zweimal Platinum, and then Zweimal Platinum in Denmark, and Platinum yeah, no, in Sweden. I think you, the first thing I've thought when I, I, I thought when I, when I heard that you like heavy metal because you get yeah, so, no, mu so much gold, is, and gold and gold and gold. This is yeah, but I you know um, I grew up also you know I love Irish music, but I grew up on the music of uh, Led Zeppelin, Black yeah, Sabbath, yeah, Deep Purple, well, well, cool but also music. then you know on the music of Marvin Gaye and you know mm -hmm. like um, Otis Redding, Smokey Robinson, people like this, but also you know then I I went through different phases. I learned the music of Cat Stevens. Of, yeah. You know Neil Young, Emerson, you know like sort of the f more the folky kind of thing as well. Okay, but right away I said to please. the German audience. Please. Tja, uh, wie erinnert sich mal gesagt, ein ganz sympathischer Kollege, der Johnny Logan, und wir haben gemeinsame Wurzeln, hat er gesagt. Wir waren beide in Nashville, haben mit den Shorteners, dem Backup-Sängern von, von Elvis gearbeitet. Und Charlie McCoy, ein toller Musiker aus Irland, ja, äh, hochdekoriert, Grammy-Gewinner, hat alles an Preisen gewonnen, was irgendwie geht. Das heißt, aus Irland kommen unglaubliche Musiker und äh, viele davon, wie er und Charlie, wandern dann seit Jahren seit, äh, auf internationalen Fahrten. Und ich habe ihn gefragt, äh, wie kommt es denn dazu? Äh, man kennt dich von von Balladen und vielen anderen tollen, modernen Songs. Ähm, wie kommst du ähm, darauf, jetzt ganz einfach Back to the Roots zu gehen und ein Album zu machen, äh, The Irish Connections? Das heißt, er und seine Freunde, er steht da mit seiner Band und seinen Freunden auf der Bühne und er hat gesagt, ja, das ist die Musik, die ich liebe, die Musik, mit der ich äh, groß geworden bin. Sein Vater ist ein bekannter irischer Star-Tenor und ähm, Tony Logan hat ihn sehr früh begleitet und fand natürlich zu dieser Musik, das heißt, die Musik, die Irland bestimmt und die diese raue, wilde Schönheit der Natur beschreibt und das macht dieses Album aus und ähm, ich habe gesagt, du magst Heavy Metal, because äh, er hatte so viel Gold bekommen und Platin für dieses Album, äh, Nummer 1 in Norwegen, Schweden, komplett Skandinavien, Doppelplatin, Gold und äh, das heißt natürlich, mit diesem Album liegt der Gold, Gold richtig, das ist übrigens, uh, that's a new album, Johnny Logan France. Yeah, that's just come out on the, uh, the 4th of January. Okay, das heißt, am 4. Januar ist dieses tolle, hochdekorierte Album rausgekommen und es uh, looks typically Irish, I love it. If, if you see these people, tell the police. Okay, das werde ich die Leute sehen. Ruf die Polizei an. Ja, wahrscheinlich äh, wird das nötig sein, denn ich glaube, wenn die Jungs anfangen, Musik zu machen, dann äh, wird was abgehen und äh, die Leute kommen auf die Straße. It's, it's a great album. I listen to Thank it. You. Thank you. And there are very, very special versions. I know the Thin Lizzy uh, um, version of Whiskey in the Jar. Das heißt, ich kenne yeah. die, die Version von Thin Lizzy Whiskey in the Jar, aber seine Version finde ich ist noch ein Zacken schärfer. Und äh, dieses Album, wie gesagt, hochdekoriert, ähm, ist erschienen am 4. Januar hier in Deutschland. And you have a TV show coming. Up, yeah? I have you a couple of them. Let's say a this couple, is, yeah. Yeah, we, we talked about it uh, at the seventh um, of January. You and uh, the, the, the big show from Stephen Rapp in the TV Total. In yeah. the TV Total. I'm looking forward um, to that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a great. Yes. Yeah. Uh, He's a good guy. Yeah, he has always grown up. Uh, uh, this is yeah. I did a show with him. Uh, his show. I did it when I was in Norway at the time. Yeah. Uh, Lena was singing in Norway at the Eurovision. Yeah, yeah. Das heißt, sie haben auch zusammengearbeitet, als Lena uh, mit mit Stefan Rapp in Norwegen war. Das heißt, viele viele Gemeinsamkeiten führen hier nach Deutschland. And you have another show coming up, Andrea Berg. Uh, yeah, this is, I became a friend of Andreas, uh, really through Samino Rossi. Okay, uh, I do is another great... Uh, uh, a great singer. I love, I, 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 uh, Samino invited me to Argentina. 
Okay, das heißt, Emil Rosin hat ihn nach Argentinien eingeladen und Andrea Berg kennt er wirklich auch sehr, sehr gut und ist auch begeistert von der Musik, die die beiden machen. Ähm, ich finde es einfach, einfach toll, ähm, dass du jetzt wieder so präsent im, im deutschen Fernsehen bist. Ähm, I love that you're enough, uh, enough of appearances on the German TV. Ja. Yeah. At the 12, das heißt am 12. mit Andrea Berg im Silvesterstadion TV -T 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 Frotal kommt noch und... Äh, Du hast die Wonder Song Contest three times. Three times, yeah. Three times, and I think a lot of, hundreds of millions watch you watch your shows on TV. And uh, it, just, it's, it seems to be a lifetime, yeah. Yeah. Um, was meinst du? Uh, um, wie gestaltet sich der Cabri heute? Und gibt es Unterschiede von damals zu heute? Um, how do you like the, the song contest today? That's, it's different. Uh, it's a uh, it's different. It's it's reflective. It reflects where music is now for me. I mean, nowadays people watch X Factor and pop stars and the Eurovision is more like this yeah. than it was. I mean, I, I miss, personally, I miss the orchestras. I miss the real musicians. A backing track will always be a backing track and yeah. singing to a backing track. But I, I, you know, the orchestras for me always added to, to a sense of occasion, you know, like it was something special to watch. And um, the voting is strange because of all the new countries that have been invited in, but that will sort itself out eventually. Um, But I think I think they should focus more on the music and not not so much on the presentation. Not not as much on the presentation. Okay, sag ganz music. einfach. Äh, früher gab es komplette große Orchester und äh, heute wird das alles mehr mit dem Halbplayback gemacht und bring back the orchestra. Bring yeah, back the orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> ja, natürlich. Ich denke, uh, that sets uh, the orchestra uh, a lot of uh, manpower and feeling in it. And yeah. a backing track is only stereo. That's it. Das heißt, dann ein, ein stereo And more, tar more genau. targets when you give, when you want yeah. it and you got flowers, you could throw them at people. You know, <laughs> the people were all in the pit, you could, you could hit them with the flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Und er sagt natürlich auch, dass so ein Orchester und so viel Live-Musik eine ganz andere Herz und Seele in die Veranstaltung bringt und äh, ja, vor allen Dingen ähm, vermisse ich eins, ähm, ich vermisse ganz einfach die schönen, großen Melodien und die Hits are missing, the big, great melodies and the hits. Yeah, well, it's, you know, like, it's again, um, there's no point in having a big melody if you don't have somebody who can sing it. And, you know, that, that's the reality of it, you know, this is... Um, This, I don't mean this with, an e with my ego or anything like this, but you know, this, a lot of the singers, are, um, they're not good enough to, to... I mean, this year, a great singer and a great song won it. And she was so st head and shoulders above everybody else, you know. That's why it was very obvious, you know. Uh, yeah. Lorene, when she did Euphoria, it yeah. was a great song and it was a great, a great performance. No big fireworks going off yeah. and loads of dancers. Just w uh, one dancer came on with her and she moved herself and... I was very, very impressed with Lorraine. Yeah. Johnny Long said very simply that there should be a little more weight on the music on itself, that is, on the hits and, of course, on the interpreters, who interpret the hits. There should be a little more weight on the voice of the voice and not so much weight on the giant show. I think that is a very, very good way. And... Um, yeah, you know, we have a song called Wonder Song Contest. Yeah. Yeah. And we have some questions from your friends here in Germany. Okay. Uh, Manuela from Gießen in Hessen is um, asking, um, are there any live performances and concerts in Yeah, Germany well, there's, 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 I'm hoping with the new CD that I'll be starting to tour here, you know, but I, there's definitely one already in for the 1st of May in Hamburg. They were doing a festival for a, for a radio station there. Okay, das heißt, wir haben in Hamburg, ne? in Hamburg am mm -hmm. 1. Mai schon mal ein großes Konzert für eine Radiostation und ihr hofft natürlich jetzt, wo das Album hier in Deutschland rauskommt, dass es auch eine Tour dazu gibt. Ähm, Fan Babel aus Wuppertal möchte wissen, äh, Miss Johnny Logan, dein richtiger Name und was sind deine Hel äh, Hobbys? Ähm, Fan Babel from Wuppertal is asking, uh, is Johnny Logan your birth name? And, no. Uh, My real name is Sean Patrick Michael Sherrard. Okay. I was given the name Johnny Logan by an Italian, an I'm Italian, an Italian producer, and it could have okay. been worse because he called himself Roberto Monte Cristo. So okay, I, I got away Monte easy with Johnny Logan. <laughs> also, ein äh, italienischer Produzent namens Roberto Monte Cristo, na, wie Musik, hat ihm den Namen gegeben. Und ähm, äh, she's asking also, what's your hobbies? Um, well, I'm quite active. I'm quite sportive. I do. Um, uh, I work out in a gym a couple of days a week when I, when sometimes it's impossible. But I love to swim. Okay. I like reading. Um, and uh, music is not is not just a passion. When you know the thing that I do for a living. It's also something that I love. So I listen a lot to music, and I am. Um, I'm always you know learning new instruments, and uh, I think if I, I play golf really badly, but I play golf. 
Okay, also er spielt gerne Golf. Er ist ein sehr sportlicher Mensch. Er macht, ähm, ja, arbeitet sehr viel ähm, in Sachen äh, Training, in Sachen nicht Gymnastik, sondern im, im, im Studio. Und er liebt äh, es zu lesen und lernt auch ständig ähm, neue Instrumente. Uh, you, you do a lot of uh, things. You're an actor in a, in a musical. Yeah, I was. Um, I started off in the early part of my career. I took um, the lead role in a couple of musicals in Adam and Eve and in um, was it. Uh, um, Prince Charming and things like this. My brother played Prince Charming. I was the uh, uh, in Cinderella. I was in a load of things like this. And I was Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. But um, and I've done. So I was lucky enough to have wor worked with uh, Klaus Venemann okay. in Schwarzkreuzstein in Frankfurt. Uh, I worked on the, that with him and did the music for a couple of TV shows. I'd like to do more, I think, but I'd like to do it properly. You know, okay. I did a musical called Excalibur. That was the last Excalibur. one that I did. King I, told, I played King Arthur in this. Oh. But when I was young, I wrote all the all the uh, 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 books from, from uh, Harold Foster. Yeah, this is. It was. It, it was written by a French guy called Alan Simon. But I was lucky okay. enough to work with. Uh, I think there was 120 people on okay. stage, okay. and uh, the rhythm section was Fairport Convention. Martin Barr from Jethro Tull was oh. playing guitar. Uh, John Halliwell from Supertramp was playing sax. And okay. I was mi mixing it with good company. Yeah, also er macht uh, ganz ganz große Performances. Das sind gerade bekannt, bekannte Namen. I have to mention Michael Mendel. Michael Mendel. Michael played, Mendel played, uh, mit, mit, mit Musikern von Chess Rotal, mit Musikern von Super Tramp äh, steht er bei den Musicals auf der Bühne. Das beweist einmal mehr, wie vielseitig er ist. Und äh, ja, das, dann, das spricht man ganz einfach auch von, von internationaler Superklasse. Um, you wrote a lot, of, a lot of beautiful hit songs. Das heißt, du hast viele, viele wunderbare Hits geschrieben. Do you wrote the song the, at the piano, at the guitar? Um, I, it, it, I vary. I might write the first song with the guitar, I might write the piano with the guitar, the, with the verse with the piano, um, just to get a different, uh, a different perspective. It, but okay. first, a lot of the times I write the melody separate to an instrument. I will just go with a Walkman or a, or a dictaphone into the, the mountains or into the forests or something like this, or turn down to the sea and I'll write, you know, walk and let my brain wander and think of things that matter okay. to me. And then afterwards I come back and I play eight, eight, about eight instruments. So. I choose, you know, which instrument is in my head at that time, and I start playing that, and that the music then enhances what I'm doing. But I think it's uh, it's very important that songs have melody for me still yeah. as a singer. Um, a lot of productions, a lot of you know, when you come in with a lot of records that are at the moment, it's more about the production than the actual melody of the song. Than putting hooks in a song yeah. along the along the productions, and I understand that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just as a singer, I find it a melody is much more. Um, challenging to me and then it's it's better from you know I get more out of it personally mm -hmm. Ja, dann weiß man, woher, woher dieses unglaubliche Gefühl in den Songs von Johnny Logan kommt, auch in der Art der Interpretation. Wenn er Songs schreibt, dann tut er das ähm, am Klavier und an der Gitarre. Und, äh, aber zuerst, bevor er das tut, bewegt er sich in der, in der freien Natur. Und das ist natürlich in Irland ne, ne, eine sehr tolle Sache. Ähm, er holt sich die Ideen ähm, aus der Natur direkt, äh, entwickelt Melodielinien und geht dann erst das Instrument. Das finde ich sehr, sehr interessant. Und ähm, man muss ganz einfach Wert legen auf das Feeling, denn a feeling makes hits, not, yeah. a, not a right note. Das heißt, das Musik, die Musik und das Gefühl macht die Hits und uh, da muss man nicht unbedingt auf eine gerade Note achten. And a lot of that feeling... Is it's that really what you said earlier, before we did the interview, we were talking yeah. about music and it really, it sometimes it doesn't matter if you sing out a tune, as long as the feeling's right. Yeah, genau. It's the same thing with melody. Das heißt, das ist ganz yeah. egal, wenn, wenn du nicht absolut perfekt singst, Hauptsache das Gefühl stimmt, denn das Gefühl macht die Hits und in diesem Falle auch Hits, die Jahrzehnte mühelos uh, überdauern and uh, then time doesn't matter about yeah. the about timing is if the timing is up I mean listen to Willie Nelson he's got the weirdest timing in the world but it's, it's wonderful you know okay wir schauen natürlich alle Fernsehen am 12. Januar ARD, die große Andrea Berg Show um 20.15 Uhr. Vorher aber nicht vergessen einschalten. TV Total mit Stefan Raab und Johnny Logan und I think we, we can do a song together yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well why don't we kind of um, mix uh, a bit of one from the album Whiskey in the Jar with okay. uh, with a bit of Johnny Johnny, okay. not Johnny Logan, a bit of Johnny Cash. Er sagt ganz einfach, okay, wir beide waren ja nur in Nashville und weshalb machen wir nicht einen Mix aus Whiskey on the Char von dem neuen Album Johnny Logan and Friends, The Irish Connection und Johnny, und zwar dem Cash. Und das machen wir jetzt. Ich sage Dankeschön, Johnny Logan, für ein fantastisches Interview und er ist wirklich ein total sympathischer Künstler. Und ich hoffe, Sie bleiben uns gewogen auf Radio VAR, denn hier spielt die Musik. Vielen Dank für die Aufmerksamkeit. Gerne, ich mache es. Es war ein Freude.
Yeah, pleasure. pleasure for me too. Hope to meet again. I hope so too. I'm sure we will. Small we world. Make music. Well, it's about yeah. it's about time. Okay. It's about time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.